Hello all of you. So uh, IFOA has recently released their examinations handbook for the September 2022 examinations. So most of the things are similar to what we have seen in the previous exams. Uh, there, are, there have been a few changes and updates that, that have been included in this um, new handbook that they have released. So in this video, I'll be quickly going through the important points um, of this handbook so that uh, you all have that important points noted down when you are appearing for your exams. So uh, the very first thing, this particular handbook uh, contains all the uh, rules regarding the exam, uh, what you have to do uh, prior to the exam, uh, which is two weeks prior to the exam. Uh, on the day of the exam and what, how will the exam be conducted and how we have to submit our papers and other different uh, topics regarding plagiarism and the paper formats. So uh, first is the minimum technical requirements that we will be needing uh, for the exam. So now uh, we obviously the exam is happening online. So we'll be needing a laptop or a PC uh, which has uh, these particular features that they have mentioned over here. Uh, we need an Adobe Reader um, and make sure that the time and date is completely visible and it's correct. And these are the different requirements of your uh, Windows if you are using a Windows PC or a laptop and what is the requirement for your Mac OS. Um, the different web browsers are given to us over here. And then we have the uh, format of the exams. So all the paper A exams for CM1, CM2, CS1 and CS2. These exams have paper A and paper B. So paper A exam will be submitted in the Word file whereas the paper B will be submitted either in the Excel or in the Word. Now if it's CM1A, uh, CM1B and CM2B it will be submitted in Excel file. And if it is CS1B and if it is CS2B, then we have our programming. So we copy down all the codes from our script to our word and we submit the word file. How to copy paste and how to submit the word file uh, is taken up in some other video, which I will link it below. So make sure you go through that video if you are appearing for CS1 or CS2. Now all the other exams will happen in MS Word itself except for CP2 exam. So CP2 exam there are uh, two files that we submit. One is the Word file plus we submit the Excel file. For all the other exams there is only one file to be submitted either Word or Excel. No other file is accepted. right? Now the exam duration is 3 hours 20 minutes for paper A, all the paper A and 1 hour 50 minutes for, for all the paper B uh, which is for all the CM and CS papers. For all the other papers it is 3 hours 20 minutes. And the exam material that we receive is in the form of the PDF. So we need a PDF, ed a PDF viewer on your laptop. If, it, if it's a paper where uh, they, will, they will give you either an Excel file or they will give you um, some CM SV files or R files then they will give you in the form of a zip file so make sure you unzip all the files before uh, starting with your uh, paper so for example if it is CM1B that you are appearing for they will give you an excel file and a question paper which will be given in the form of a zip folder so make sure you extract all the files first and then start working on the extracted files. If you do not extract the files, then your work will not be saved and you will not be able to submit your Excel file. So it's very, very important that you extract the uh, files from the zip folder because I have seen that there, there have been certain students who do not do that and they end up losing all their work. So it's important to unzip your uh, zipped folder. Now this is the new um, thing that they have released in this particular handbook which is different than that of the uh, previous additions. So firstly they have given us the entire exam process. It is very simple. Uh, they have laid out in a properly uh, chart manner. Now the very first step before two weeks of your exam. So whenever is your exam date just 
two weeks before that you will receive an email make sure whatever email you have put on your uh, IFOA login uh, is same to what you are using because you will receive an email on that particular mail ID only that you have put in in your IFOA login uh, credentials if it is different then please do check that whatever email is put there uh, is the only source of communication of between you and your and the, and, and IFO. So verify your platform login details and mobile number. So they you they you will receive a email which will contain all the information or, or regarding the exam platform. All right. So you have to first create an account. So they will give you a set. So entire steps are laid down below, which I will again go through. You have to then just verify the platform, the exam platform, wherein you will be able to download the exam paper on the date of the exam and upload the exam paper on the date of the exam. So you have to put in all your login details, which is your IFA, ARN number, your password and your mobile number. And you have to complete the download and the upload checks which are the equipment checks which i'll be again uh, you know coming through in the later parts and then uh, if there is some error along the way you have to clear the cache on the device you are using because it might so happen that you might have a login problem uh, if you have to uh, if you're having such problems then please make sure you clear the cache before uh, proceeding with these steps now on the day this is two weeks prior to your exam now on the day of your exam make sure that you check the date of your exam properly right obviously and then the next thing is to check the time of your exam so the time which IFOA releases is as per to IFOA so make sure you uh, convert it as per to IST if you are uh, residing in India or if it's somewhere else then make sure you convert the UK timing as per where you are residing and then accordingly you have to sit for the exam now read all the documents which are there on the exam platform so on the exam platform you will again get this particular handbook and there will be quite other documents as well which you can go through then you have to download the exam paper uh, as and when your exam begins and then make sure that you use appropriate version of excel and appropriate word of ms uh, Excel and MS uh, Office. So basically, uh, they uh, have mentioned about it in the later part. So we'll go through it. Then we have to regularly save the exam. So this is again a very important thing that they have covered over here that keep on saving your Word file, keep on saving your Excel file, save and close your exam work. And then you have to uh, submit your upload your answer script, you will get a confirmation. Um, you will you will be also able to preview your uh, file before submitting and then you will get a confirmation from IFOA on your mail as well as there will be a pop-up that your mail your uh, exam has been papers have been submitted so this is the entire process which in details we'll go through now uh, so first thing over here is to complete your exam answer script now make sure uh, as I've mentioned all the paper a needs to be submitted in MS Word format it has to be in a word format no any other format is accepted no PDF no zip file it has to be a word document and all the paper B not all CM 1 B and CS uh, CM 2 B and also CP 2 exams are to be submitted in Excel file so make sure it is dot XLSX and no any other format no PDF no zip file it has to be just an Excel file right so now the next thing is you can use 2013 as the minimum version of MS Office or any above versions. If you're using an MS Office version before 2013, maybe 2010 or so, please do not use that. It has to be minimum 2013 or above both MS Word and MS Excel. Now, the other very important thing is that uh, this is a new addition in this particular uh, handbook. So they have mentioned clearly that candidates should be aware of the following if they wish to use Excel or similar software. So if you are using Excel file during your examination, 
even in your paper A exam, then make sure that data which is there in the Excel file is properly pasted in MS uh, Word also. So if you are using giving a paper A exam and if you want to use MS Excel for any calculation, make sure all the calculations are pasted properly. However, the calculations are not pasted in MS Word, so your working needs to be displayed. You cannot put any kind of screenshots. You can only put the screenshot or images if the workings are properly laid out or unless it is it is always better to show the working separately and do not copy paste any kind of pictures from Excel to Word. Make sure nothing is linked to your Word file. So for example, many a times you may just copy paste from Excel to Word and then there is a link uh, which is to the source file, which is to the Excel file. If any kind of link is present, then they will not correct your paper. So make sure no such kind of linking is there with the source file. And the other thing is that do not copy or insert any kind of Excel file within the sheet. So many of the students, they ask this question that can we insert an Excel uh, spreadsheet into the word no we cannot do that you cannot insert a excel file within a, a word file you have to either use excel for calculations but make sure you copy paste all the workings properly in your word if no workings are there you will not be awarded any marks one thing second thing you might also be um, you know uh, sent for the plagiarism that where your answers are coming from if your workings are not properly laid out. So this is very very important that we have to consider. Now you must also ensure that the content is visible to the marker. Uh, it is not haphazard. It is properly laid out. The spacing should be two that they have already mentioned over here. Your in answer script must not be password protected. Make sure it's not any type of any password protection is there and do not contain any other link to any other um, you know scripts or any other platform this is a very very important thing that they have mentioned over here now your answer script must not contain the link this is a new addition to the handbook that they have put from the previous handbooks why because them there have been they have seen some kind of linkages to the source file so make sure there is no such kind of linkage or links contained that is again very very important uh, now the next thing uh, that we have over here is that make sure you uh, you are not supposed to um, use any kind of math ml open math these kind of things should not be there you cannot use the dictation functionality again a very common question when you are using ms word especially 365 uh, office 365 then you have a dictation facility over there functionality over there you cannot use the dictation functionality it's completely no you have to type down all your answers for it to be corrected. R markdown and NIT are again uh, things which can you can use in R programming is again prohibited. You cannot use these things on your day of exam, right? So these you are allowed to use the help pages of MS Word or MS Excel. You have the help tab over there. You can use those easily, right? Now um, coming back to the mathematical typing since the exams are happening online. So you have certain formula, symbols and notations which IFOA has given to us. We have a separate video for this. So for those who want uh, um, classes for mathematical typing, it's already uploaded. I'll put a link below so you all can go through. Uh, for all the CM and CS papers especially, we have all the mathematical typing and typing in word classes put up uh, where we have discussed all the notations and also the different questions how to be presented in MS Word. Now next thing is to prepare to sit for your exam. Now again over here since we know that the exam is happening online, Again, the very important thing, as I've mentioned below, make sure that your email address and mobile numbers are correct on the IFOA platform. If you are, if your credentials are not correct, make sure you log in into the portal and you change your details because that is the only place through which they can actually connect to you. These are the four mail IDs which are important. 
make sure you uh, can make them as safe senders or you uh, maybe just keep all these four email ids handy with you because any uh, information that you will receive from ifoa will be received to through these four email ids which have which are mentioned so make sure you bookmark or you just keep it ready with you you mark it as safe senders so that any information which comes up do not go into the spam or the junk folder right next uh, information is that it's important to check that no ifa mails have gone into your junk folder so make sure all these four email ids are marked as safe make sure you meet ifa uh, online examination hardware and software requirements again something which we have seen above all the hardware and software re uh, requirements are given to us make sure the ms office especially that you are using is 2013 or above and no prior versions to it if you are uh, in order to able to uh, access the examination on the exam day you will need to complete the equipment check this is what we are talking about two weeks prior to our exam date we receive an uh, we receive a particular uh, mail which contains the login credentials which we'll discuss and then make sure you have your date and time ready and you clear your cache history as well so the first stage the stage that comes in two weeks prior to our exam date um which is different for all of us so uh, the first exam uh, whichever is the first whatever is the first exam two weeks prior to that only those students who are appearing for that particular first exam will get the first mail this mail uh, will be received from alerts at the rate online practical exams.org.uk so make sure it is again uh, set as a safe, safe sender as we have discussed above all the four email ids now your mail id the mail that you will receive from ifoa will somewhat look like this so for example if i am appearing for cm2 exam then i will get a mail something looking like this to set up my online exam platform uh, it will uh, sub, so you will get a uh, separate email id a uh, separate uh, emails for all the different exams you are appearing you will get the same mail for cm1b and same mail for cm1a if you are appearing for cm1 similarly if you are appearing for cb2 along with cm1 then you will also get a mail for cb2 right so the account setup needs to be done only once however the equipment check which comes later on needs to be done separately for all the different exams so you will have to click on this particular link which is given to you in the mail set up my account when you click on this it will open up this particular page will open up which will ask you to create a password so you make sure you create a password which you remember properly because this is something which you will be needing always to access your exam platform the next thing is to the next thing the moment you create the password you will receive a verification code this code will be received on the mobile number the mobile number which is there on your ifoa login so make sure it is correct and you will receive an otp which you can put it over here right once you put it this is the first step of the verification and after you have received the verification code will somewhat look like this you put in this particular verification you put in this particular verification code and click on verify the moment you click on verify your account has been verified and now you are ready to login right now what else we can do is that we can bookmark this entire um url so this is basically the account setup page this is actually the exam platform so this password creation needs to be done only once however every time you log in to your exam portal every time you log in you will receive a verification code and this verification needs to be done every time you log in to your portal so make sure every time you have your mobile uh, phone with you whenever you want to log in right that is very important again you all can bookmark this page very very important because again and again you will have to search for the link for the exam platform this is the link which we use so you can bookmark this and you can again and again just click on that particular bookmarked page so that straight away it will take you to the uh, login page right where you can where again you can have to just uh, feed in uh, the verification code your arn etc so this was the step 
the step one was uh, to uh, set up your account we have created the password uh, we have uh, uh, received the verification code we have done the verification and now our account is ready we just have to bookmark this particular page and every time you just have to click on this every time you click on this they will ask you for your ARN your password one thing once you click on again verify then they will send a verification code OTP on your mobile number you have to feed in that and then you are ready to open your exam platform so this is the two step verification one is the password and ARN and second one is the verification code which is sent to your mobile phone so two step verification needs to be done right after this we have to carry out the equipment check this is again a very 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 important part of your exam that needs to be done before the exam date so for example if my exam is on 31st of uh, August then I do this before that not on 31st August right that is again very important so how to do the exam uh, e equipment check so there are two things which happens in the equipment check the very first thing that we do is to um, is to is is the download check wherein we download the files and we check that everything is working fine we can use we can download the files we can open the pdf if it's, if it's in the pdf format and also the upload check wherein we upload the word file or the excel file depending on the exam that we are appearing for and we check whether the uploading is happening properly or not so the again there are two things that we have to do now very important very very important point over here we have to do the equipment check for all the exams that we are appearing so for example if I am appearing for CM1 and I'm appearing for CB2 then there are two uh, exams paper A and paper B and here we have one exam so have to do the equipment check thrice for paper A for paper B and for CB2 so I have to do the equipment check three times first separately for all these three this is again very important now the equipment check only needs to be done on the equipment that you are uh, supposed to give the exam on for example if I'm appearing my exam from this particular PC so I'll be doing the equipment check from this PC if you are changing your PC later on then you have to do the equipment check from that laptop as well so make sure whatever laptop or PC you will be using on the exam date you are doing the equipment check you can do the equipment check more than once that it that is what they are saying that you can carry out this check more than once but you do not have to do it on the day of the exam it has to be done before the exam if this is a very important uh, point please you all can go through this if you do not do the equipment check then you will not be able to download the exam paper that is you will not be able to give your exam so this is actually a very very important point if you do not do the equipment check you will not be able to sit for your exam so unless you do the equipment check you will on your portal when you open your portal you will have this red bar on top which will state that your equipment check is not carried out right so you have to click on this to carry out the equipment check now how to do the equipment check once you log into your platform once you log into your platform for example if I am appearing for these exams so it will be displayed like this it is CM2B CP2 and CA4 so these are the three exams that I'm appearing for and I will get a uh, uh, three bars I have to click on this view exam button when I click on this view exam button then this particular thing will open up right and when this particular thing will open up I have to click on equipment check button here are your details you will have your ERN uh, number and everything written over here which is obviously blurred right now then when you click on your equipment check there are two kinds of check that we have to carry out one is upload check and another one is the download check so this is the download when I click on that equipment check so I have logged in to the exam portal using the online platform which I have asked you to bookmark you put in your ARN password you put in the verification code you have logged in you have different exams in front of you click on view exam then you have the portal click on the equipment check button the moment you click on the equipment check button this entire thing opens up so you have two checks first you click on first you click on this button this is for the download check when I click on this when I click on this you will see a bar 
with all the things which have been downloaded i will click on open the moment i click on open a pdf file will open up or if it's in the form of a zip if it's paper b on the final day of the exam when it contains the exam paper as well as the spreadsheet then it will be in the form of a zip file so you click on that a zip file will open up in a zip file you will have the pdf and you will have the spreadsheet so make sure you extract them first how to extract it's in my another video so you have to extract the zip fold uh, zip file zipped files and then you have to see whether you can open the pdf and you can open the excel file if it's a single pdf then it will just straight away open in a pdf viewer which is your adobe if you're using adobe as your pdf viewer next this is the first download check which is completed then is your upload check so here you have to upload your word file so for example if i am appearing for cm1a then it will be an a uh, word file if i am appearing for cm1b then it will be an excel file if it is cs1a uh it is a word file if it is cs1b then again it's a word file because in r programming as well we submit a word file right now uh this is a feature which they released uh previously uh, in the april attempt you can also preview your file before submitting so here i have uploaded my uh, file whichever i want to submit it has to be a word file okay so when you clear, when uh, you attach this file to uh, it's wherever on your pc and you attach it over here you upload it over here then you have to preview the file once you click on this preview button you can preview your file so maybe your file looks like this your file may be something looks like this so generating a preview of the file it might take some time if it's a very huge file uh, by very huge i mean you have written uh, maybe 10 to 15 pages of your word and it's a huge file that you have um or when we are doing the upload check and the download check make sure in the upload check you create a word file on your desktop or or, or d drive or wherever you want and you have you just write a write something maybe check or something on your word file don't leave it blank if you're leaving it blank they will not take a blank file so make sure you write something on your word file before doing the upload check right because this is just a check that we are doing that whether we are able to submit a word file or not so it cannot accept a blank word file so make sure you write something just a line just a word and then you submit when you submit and click on pre, uh, when you up, uh, sorry when you upload and when you click on bra, uh, preview when you click on preview you can preview all the answers over here whichever you have submitted whatever is there in your file and once you preview and you are satisfied that okay i have submitted a uh, i have submitted the correct file then only make sure you click on this upload button do not click on the upload button if you are not satisfied with the preview right so it's very important that you see the preview first without clicking on this upload straight away if you are not satisfied with this preview if you have attached a wrong file then you can any time click on remove and again from the beginning you can browse a new file and submit your own answer file this is this is a very good feature that they have received re uh, released where you can actually view your submission and then once you are satisfied with the preview you can click on the upload right and then once you have uploaded a pop up will con uh, occur which will say that your equipment check is completed so we have done the download check we have done the upload check once these two are done a preview will come up which will a pop up will come up which will show that yes your equipment check both download and upload is done now make sure if you face any difficulty during this part you can contact exam support at the rate actuaries.org where uh, wherein they will help you and guide you further if you are facing any doubts or any uh, if you are getting any error uh, during this particular process now it is your responsibility to check your equipment and test the online platform for all the papers in your exam before the date of your exam if you fail to do this you will not be able to access the exam paper so meaning you will not be able to sit for your exam so it's very very important that you do the equipment check otherwise you will not be able to download the paper and you will not be able to uh, sit for the exam so if i am appearing for cm1 then i have to do the equipment check twice for cm1a and for cm1b right okay 
now after this <clears throat> so after this is done you will see you will see a bar which was red earlier that equipment check is not done it will turn into green that we have done the equipment check now if you want to change your personal details then you can click on this bar change your details and whatever changes you want you can change the details from here right if you forget your password then you uh, just maybe uh, log in onto this platform which was the online platform which i was asking you to bookmark you have to put in your arn and you can click on this forgot password again a reset link will be sent to your mail and you can reset your password right so this is what happens uh before two weeks before your exam when you will receive the uh login credentials login details and you have to put in do the two step verification bookmark your page do the equipment check this is again a very very important process now let's see uh, what happens on the day of the exam so uh, once we have gone through all the steps before now during the exam it's prohibited to share your answers with your friends or with anyone else or to uh, get their answers uh, you cannot co collaborate your exam uh, with anyone else so make sure you keep all these things in mind it is very important um, that you give your exam honestly so ifo takes a lot of steps to check whether the papers that you have submitted is honest and without any um, you know a uh, source of any other work taken from the friends or somewhere else if it is taken from your ifoa material or maybe some other place then make sure you give a proper referencing how to do referencing uh, is covered in my another video which i have linked below so you all can go through that video very very important especially for all the theory papers that you keep in mind how to Uh, go about the ifoa referencing which avoids any plagiarism that is again very important otherwise ifoa takes very harsh steps if you indulge any of these uh, activities right now uh, it's very important again as i'm repeating that it's your res responsibility to know the correct start time of your exam so if your exam is supposedly uh, 10 am uk time then you have to check your ist time if you are reciting in india or if you are reciting somewhere else then you check your time as per the uk time and you have to sit for your exam at that particular moment only now another thing please keep saving your work it is very important and then as and when your exam time ends you have to save and you have to submit so that i will just come uh, with it uh, later on now assessing the online exam platform so it's very important that if uh, this is very important that if you are appearing uh, from your company device then please make sure you check with your it department whether they do not have any kind of issues with the online exam platform because i have seen some of the students who use the company laptop might end up uh, you know they are not able to submit maybe the final exam file um, answer file and It, they end up actually losing uh, a lot of time there right so it's very important that if you are using a company laptop so please make sure you check whether it is working properly you check the you do the upload and the download checks very nicely and uh, i would suggest that if you have your personal pc then you use that only not the office one next we have again the same steps that they have given us over here so this was the url that we have to keep it as bookmark make sure this will not be uh, doable now if you get the uh, unless you do the setup account thing which you receive two weeks prior to the exam so if you are trying to do this right now it will not be possible you will have to receive the mail two weeks prior from ifoa using that mail once you set up the account that we have done in the first segment uh, then only you you can use this particular url once you click on this url they will ask you for your arn 
and then for the password which we have set earlier and once we have set the password if you are requesting for a new password if you have forgotten your password then you can click on forgot password and uh, you will receive a reset link on your email id using which you can reset your password right once you click on the password click on verify you will receive a verification code on your mobile phones you put in the login code over here and you click on verify again this is how your uh, exam portal will open up so make sure if your exam is starting from 2 pm ist then make sure you log in maybe 15 minutes before because there is a huge there is a process you first have to enter the arn password and then the login uh, code which comes up on your mobile phones so it's important that you give it maybe 10 minutes time so if it, your exam is starting from 2 pm make sure you log in uh, your portal uh, at maybe 1 45 pm and keep it ready right once you log in you will have this exam material um uh, if there are any exam materials and you will have this exam paper which will be grey in colour for the time being because the exam has not started the moment the exam will start this will turn into a blue icon wherein you can just click and once you click this particular um, window will come up wherein you can click on the download paper once you click on the download paper the PDF file or the zip file will be downloaded and you are ready for your uh, exam right once you are ready once you are ready for your exam uh, you appear for your exam on the word file if it's paper a excel if it's cm and b or cm to b or cp2 and whatever uh, file you are working on uh, make sure you rename your file and you keep it ready uh, rename your file during the exam only and it should contain your arn underscore the paper you are appearing for if it is cs1a then the attempt it has to be 2022 for us and then paper one so this should be the entire structure of the file name this should be the file name make sure your file name is appropriate make sure that no other information is included within the word file so you do not put in your arn or any your name or any other thing within the word file which allows the marker to understand who you are so any information that could help the marker to identify you must not be included within the word file your ARN name email address anything only the file name should contain your ARN that's it and the subject name and the term in which you are appearing for which is September 2022 now another very very important thing is that you cannot create the word file or excel file before the start of my exam so if my exam is starting at 2 p.m. right and if it is ending at 5 20 p.m. then please make sure you create your word file after 2 p.m. it is not before 2 p.m. and you uh, save and close your file just before 5 20 p.m. not before not after that because they will check something called as time stamp so uh, for those who do not know what time stamp is you can just right click on any of the word file click on properties and you will see a uh, date created date and time created on so it gives you the date and the time you created that particular word file date and time last modified so it gives you the last modified date and time if your date and time created is before 2 p.m pm or which whatever your start of exam time is and the last modified time is after 5 20 pm or whatever your end time is then your paper will not marked you will get a zero so please make sure that you create the word or excel whatever it is during your exam time only and you just save it and close it do not reopen your file again so that is what they have mentioned over here very very clearly so they have asked us to keep in mind the timestamp which is very very important they will check the timestamp 
also uh, if after 5:20 for example my exam is ending at 5:20 pm then i again open my word file just to check whether i've written all the answers or not whatever it is if even if you open your word file it will change for most of us it changes the last modified time so please they are asking you clearly not to open the file after 5:20 better it is that you start saving at 5:15 close your work so that you have that 5 minutes again to reopen and check but do not open your file after 5:20 which is again will change your last modified time even if it is 1 minute extra even if it is 5:21 pm your answers will not be marked and this has happened previously with some of the students so please make sure you do not do this otherwise your exam will not be marked again this is what i have explained again you can just click on this uh, upload browse option browse your file please preview your file before submitting because make sure you are submitting the correct word file also keep your desktop area clear if you are creating a word file in your desktop or wherever you are creating a word file keep it clear so that you just have maybe one word file over there so you do not create any kind of chaos at the moment of exam and once you are uh, you know happy with your sub uh, with your preview then you can click on this upload and once you click on this upload you will get a pop up this is the pop up uh, which will state that your exam maybe cp2 has been submitted and they will give you the time and the date of your submission and what was the file named at and what was the size of the file you will at the same time receive an email confirmation mark this email confirmation star mark this email confirmation till the time you get your exam results so these two are the confirmations that you will receive once you have uploaded your exam paper now in any kind of emergency situations they have discussed a few things below but before that they have created a beautiful uh, chart flow over here um, on the day of the exam what we have to do so we have to save your work keep on saving your work during the exam also and save your work uh it should not be saved after 5:20 pm so make sure you save it before whatever your exam time is i am just taking an taking an example close your documents do not reopen or resave if you reopen it then there is something called as auto save feature please make sure this auto save feature is turned off especially for if you are using office 365 then there is a feature called auto save option so there is an option of auto save please make sure that you do not have this option uh with you if you, if it's on then please make sure that it is turned off right so this auto save feature should be turned off uh because if it is on if you open your file after 520 still your last modified will change so it is always better not to open the word file after 520 pm whatever the case be once you upload the document make sure you check and preview the uploaded files if you are happy then it's fine if you are not happy then make sure you remove and you uh, upload the new file once you are happy you click on the file right if there are more than two files which you have to submit which happens in cp2 exam so in cp2 paper 1 and paper 2 we submit word plus excel so if you have to submit word plus excel then when you click on the browse button a uh, window will open up wherein you can browse through your pc you have to click on the two files you can just click on one file click on control and you can select the other file as well so using pressing control you can select two files more than one file and submit both of them together do not submit it separately one time you click on the submit button it submitted and you do not you're not able to submit anything else so if there are two files that you want to submit submit it together so over here very very important that whenever i'm clicking on this browse button and if there are two files that needs to be submitted word plus excel make sure you select both the files together preview them separately so you will have two bars over here you can preview them separately and then click on upload if you are clicking on upload just by selecting one file you will not be allowed to submit any other file make sure you select both the files together right this is again very important then you can submit your file you can click on upload check and you will get a pop up confirmation email and a pop up that 
your exam has been submitted so this is again a very important step wherever in the exam we have to submit more than two files or more than one file this generally happens for cp2 examination so make sure you select both the files together right now if there is any kind of emergency situations uh, mostly you have to fill in mitigation form which happens after the examination or you can contact if uh, you should contact ifoa make sure to contact ifoa you have an international recharge done on your cell phones if you are staying out of uk and this is the cell phone please make sure you note down this mobile number uh, this number is through which you can contact ifoa so keep this ready you can save it on your mobile phones and uh, to contact them you should have an international recharge done on your cell phones now what happens uh, if your exam something happens during the exam then you can uh, call them they will give you a maybe if they understand your situation then only they will give you a verification a code <clears throat> using which you can email them the um, Uh, answer files but this is something which is a very 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 rare case you have to submit your files if it's not submitted you it will not be marked for the exam now what is the submission time so 3 hours 20 minutes is your exam duration if it's paper a plus 30 minutes is the uploading time this 30 minutes is only for the uploading time you cannot do any kind of writing work or you cannot answer any questions within this 30 minutes so your exam is starting at 2 pm ending at 5 uh, pm 20 minutes the moment your exam ends close all the files save it prior close it and the next 20 30 minutes will only for the will only be for the uploading time so you cannot do any kind of work if you are doing it you will get a zero so please please do not just you know start writing for maybe more 5 minutes more 1 minute don't do that you will end up losing all the marks so please make sure you start submitting maybe at 5:15 itself 5 minutes before that is what i suggest all the students because there might be some last moment errors to avoid that last moment hassle it's better that we start submitting 5 minutes before only which is if my exam is ending at 5:20 i start submitting at 5:15 make sure your paper b exam is 1 hour 50 minutes plus you get this 30 minutes for uploading you generally don't take 30 minutes it's just a 5 minute task but still they have given you a 30 minutes uh, time period over which it is only for submission nothing nothing else if you are doing anything else you'll get a zero so it's better that you do not do anything else over here now they have given a information on the examination uh, conduct how to you know what are the inappropriate uh, conduct according to them so this is same as what we have gone through before um, i have i'll be attaching a video for this so you cannot uh, copy paste you cannot enter into any kind of collaboration collusion with your friends uh, or you cannot just uh, do not use internet do not use internet websites if you are using any uh, ifo material please make sure you mention the material name properly and whatever the page number section number which i have covered in my some other video you uh, all of these are actually considered to be plagiarism collusion any kind of cheating any kind of impersonation uh, all these are considered to be exam misconduct and which will be treated very badly and either you will be banned so they have mentioned over here uh, for maybe 6 months 12 months 18 months or 24 months depending on the circumstances and there is a complete set of steps that they take so first they use this particular software called Certain, uh, wherein they, you know, check your exam uh, file if it is matching with any other uh, student of, or it is matching with any other web pages, any other material. So if even if you take it from anywhere, they will catch you, right? And they will also give you the percentage. Uh, they will also give you an entire report. of how much you have copied and pasted once they see that it exceeds a particular limit then there will be an entire panel sitting and reviewing a paper whether it is uh, appropriate or not and if they the panel if they find out that yes there is some sort of plagiarism happening then they will take a strict action wherein they will uh, <clears throat> they might 
ban the candidate or disqualify the candidate from appearing for the further examinations so these are a few uh, things that we have to keep in mind I've, um and very important just to check your mail id keep all those four mail ids as i've shown you earlier as your safe senders keep that mobile number handy if you have any kind of problem during the upload uploading time and make sure you perform the equipment checks before your exam do it separately for all the exams that you're appearing for do not uh, enter any in any sort of misconduct i have uploaded one video which i will be linking below in the description box for you all to check uh, for any kind of uh, referencing ifoi referencing how to do the ifoi referencing since it's an open book examination uh, all the best to all of you and make sure you um, go through the details very nicely thank you